Time to play the game! <laughs> Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to protect our files.h with the preprocessor's help against multiple inclusions. What's a multiple inclusion of files.h? You've just learnt about include, and I'm already showing you something that will cause problems if you don't protect them. You'll have problems with your files.h. Here I have a main.c that I'm going to compile. The main.c has an include of the file test1.h. Let me show you the test1.h file. It's simply a hash include of test2.h. Test2.h, as you've probably guessed, will be test1.h's include. So the preprocessor will try and do inclusions as many times as possible. Surely you've realized that I've just created an infinite loop and we're going to have problems. Let me show you. Here, we have a problem. How to avoid this? Because maybe you sometimes want a file to include another, you'll see it's quite useful. So how could we protect our files.h? And that's how we're going to do it. First, we're going to start with something standard. It's an hash if and if, if we haven't defined yet. So we're going to base our macro on our file's name. Let's be good pupils and respect the standard. So underscore, underscore, ft, underscore, and name of my file. You should generally write your macros and names in capital letters. Underscore, capital H, underscore, underscore at the end. So this means if. If this macro hasn't been defined, well, here we're going to include this. If it becomes defined, then we'll stop including it. You'll see that normally, by doing this, it shouldn't work yet. We're going to have to add something. Basically, once I've gone in this if once, I'll make sure it don't go in if again, which means I have to make sure that the file.h is included only once. As simple as that. If I go in it, it means that underscore, underscore, ft, underscore, test1, underscore, h, dot, underscore. So when I go in it, I'm going to try and define it. You'll see ft test1 underscore h underscore underscore and this normally should make sure that test1 can be included only once. Demonstration. Normally now it compiles. If I do a cpp main.c, here's what's going to happen. Remember that main.c includes test1.h and if you look, test1.h well, here, if it included test2.h, which included test1.h, actually, but, oh, sorry, this test1.h has just included test2.h, test2.h attempted to include test1.h, but it was empty. Here you go. I'm going to try and add some code to make it clearer for you. So, here, for example, I'm going to add a function's prototype, a void. Let's call it poet1. Just like this, you'll see better. So, poet1 is in test1, and in test2, I'm going to add poet2. See, I haven't protected test2, but that's okay, because test1 test will be included now. I'm sure I haven't protected test2 either. Normally, you should protect all your files.8, but that was just an example. Let me show you what happens. We can see that test1 has been included. In the beginning, the first time we go in test1, if in def hasn't been defined, therefore we keep going down. Here we have the inclusion of test2, so we keep going down. And we have the define of underscore underscore ft underscore test, etc. We keep going down, then we have test2's inclusion. Here in test2, we still have the inclusion of test1. Checking the if, if in def of function ft underscore test1 underscore h. This time it's been defined, so we won't include what's between the if in def and the end def. So we'll never re-include test2 again. Going back to test 2, I'm still going down. Here, I have to write this. I get out of test 2, go into test 1, going back to test 1, I have to write this, and I'm done including test 1 in my main. So here, you can see we included test 2 and test 1. There hasn't been an infinite loop. Normally, just to be thorough, we should have protected test 2, 2 by adding this should be a reflex to you now. You should start protecting your files.h as soon as you create them by adding this. Piece of advice, learn to create macros with Vim or Emacs and create a script that does it automatically. It'll be a time saver. So, be careful. Be really careful. You'll see, once you've defined 
ft underscore test2, you can use it further into the code. And watch out, this could be dangerous because imagine in my main, I don't know why anyone would do this, but in my main here, if I do hash if in def underscore underscore ft underscore test2 underscore h underscore underscore, if it hasn't been defined, I'm going to display my main, and you'll see that if I do cpp, my main had gone. Because once we've defined it anywhere really, you see that my files have been added to my .c file, and now it's defined forever. So if there are other things using the same macro, well, the same define, well, the if in def won't work. The if def won't work. So be careful to set the right names. That's it. Now you know how to protect your files.h against multiple inclusion.